Hey, how's it going? I'm Ken Duty, and we're here for My Life, My Power, as well as the iDanceMachine.com, and uh, it was it was really cool. I just went inside, saw the whole you know music video, the PSA. I'm actually going to be a part of another another of the PSAs for My Life, My Power coming up soon. So that's going to be a lot of fun. But yeah, it's great. You know, we're getting out here. We're you know teaching kids about you know anti-child obesity, anti-bullying, and I think it's I think it's really awesome that you know. Yeah, we're so doing what, this. what's going on with your show? On my show? Ah, oh, man. Gunther's coming into himself as a man. We've uh, added a little sexiness to him. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm now the tallest guy, so therefore Gunther has to be, you know, a man now, right? So that's that's sort of a uh, cool thing that we're doing in the show. Are you like the, the, uh, the man around, you know, the whole show, or there's someone else trying to take your spot? I don't know. I haven't been there in a l little bit. Uh, all right. Actually, the choreographer for I Dance is our assistant choreographer on our show. Okay. So uh, I, she hasn't even been there for a while too because she was doing this little tour. But uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on. But uh, if when when I do go back, I'm gonna need to make sure the reins are still in check for me to come back in as a man. Okay. So are you being compared to any young guys like Justin Bieber, like Efron? Or, you know, are you like the next biggest thing? I've gotten Justin Bieber, oddly enough. Yeah, let, let's do that hair. Let, let, yeah, the hair is different, the uh, size and height. Because <laughs> I'll be standing with someone, and it's funny, it's usually someone with Disney, and I'll be wearing something purple. Okay. And people driving by, you'll hear like a girl scream, Hey, Justin Bieber! Yeah. And then you're like, hello, I can't... Yeah, I, cannot... I can't whip it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, you know, six foot one. Yeah. I, uh, you know, I'm from Texas. I'm from the opposite side of, you know, the states. He's from up here, and I'm all the way down here. He's from, in Canada. Yeah. So I'm from Texas. So. Hi. Yeah. Speaking of Texas. Texas. What's going on with Tony Romo and the Cowboys? Just don't get me started, man. Oh. Oh, yeah, give man. me something. What, what uh, are know, we going like, to do? I, I mean, you see like all these we'll see passes where it's just like, what were you thinking, man? Yeah. And I don't, I've never actually played football competitively, but yeah. I've got my dad who was a quarterback. So it's like, why didn't he just call a run? The, I mean, like, because you can see when the defense is setting up and they go off, you know, as the offense, and the defense is just sitting there. They're like waiting. Yeah. You're... And you, so you obviously know what they're going to do. So why aren't you playing towards that? You you just you're playing t for them, basically. Yeah. You throw a pass to them and it's an intercept. What were you thinking? Like the same way they lost to Detroit, they were up by 20, what, 23, yes, yeah, 24 uh -huh. points, yep. and he started throwing deeper, and every time he does it, they steal the ball. Yeah. It's an interception. Oh, touchdown. Yeah, I mean, you think you learn, let's try and run it a little bit, get, yeah. just get some, just get the yardage. Yeah. Well, I mean, with all the success going on right now, I mean, Detroit, they're really winning. They're doing the, really good. The Raiders really good. are doing great. Uh, the Colts, I don't know what happened. I don't know. I don't know about you that. Know, you think they can have a comeback and maybe make the playoffs? You know, uh, we, can, we can always see, hope because they, they always play a good game. Okay. Now, this last question, the anti-bullying thing, you know, what does that mean to you to finally, you know, yeah. do something to kick bullying outside, you know, out of the schools forever? You know, kicking bullying to the curb, so to speak, is, is definitely a big, it has, it has a big impact on kids. Okay. And a lot of times you find the bully doesn't have a good home life, like a divorced parents, for instance, sometimes, because the parents will then end up, like I've noticed, will become distant. I have friends with divorced parents, and you know, one of them is usually very distant from the child, and that can have a huge impact on them, or it can, or it cannot. But it's always, you know, if their friends are, you know, helping them through it, because I've, I've helped a lot of my friends through it. I, uh, my, actually, my grandparents are divorced, so you know, I, my dad, my dad has, you know, helped me to help my friends get through a divorce, a divorce situation. But you know, you got, I, I understand the parents, you know, they have to go their separate ways just because it's not working. It's making it worse on the kid anyway. But they need to st make sure that both of them are still giving them the uh, love and, yeah. and respect and disciplining them when it's right, you know. But a lot of the kids end up bullying other kids or getting bullied themselves because suddenly they're the outcast. And it, or it, you're better looking than them, or you are taller than them. Yeah, yeah, that's a big thing. Like, you, you know, a lot of uh, kids are, you know, like, oh, those they're too good looking, let's put them in their place. Oh, they're too smart, let's put them in their place. Yeah. Oh, they're too good at sports, let's put them in their place. It's like, well, 
that's what God was made them to do. You know? Yeah. That's what He put in their lives to do. So like for me, it's singing, and now it's dancing, and but acting was another of my. I mean, so I. That's that's what I'm I'm here to do. And but another thing is for me is to get out there and show kids that you need to have a confidence in yourself. Because when you exude confidence. Thank you. That that's what exactly what I was looking for. When, when you exude confidence, like I've I've never I've always been a confident kid because my, I've been raised that way. Like yeah. You are you, and that's who you are, and that's all you can. Be. And so I've always just exuded that person that person on my own. So I'll actually be hanging with friends. You'll find I'll know like half of the people in the room. Yeah. But it's just because I want to make a difference in their life just to be nice. Thank and I'll, you. so I'll, I'll say hi to people and hey, how's it going? And yeah. so you get to talking and you get to know them and you become acquaintances. So I'll go to a friend's birthday party and I know it, the, everyone in the party. And people are like, how do you know everybody? Because I'm nice to them. Yeah. And that's a big thing that not a lot of people are. And I'm, that's hey, you're the man. You know, know, change one soul all the time, you know? Exactly. Are uh, you on Twitter? Can the yeah, Ken J. Duty. K E N T U T Y. J D U T Y. That's your Twitter. Yes, and you on Facebook as well? I have Ken Duty's page on Twitter. Oh, on Facebook. thank you. Yeah. All right, thank you, man. Thank you, man. All right.